Hi all, today we are discussing about biopotential amplifiers. So what are biopotential amplifiers? These are very important part of modern medical instrumentation system. We need to amplify biopotential which are generated in the body at low levels with high source impedance. Biopotential amplifiers are required to increase signal strength while maintaining fidelity. To take a weak potential and increases its amplitude so that it can be processed, recorded or displayed. This is used to amplify voltage, power and current. In some cases, bipotential amplifiers are is used to isolate the load from source current gain only. There is a biopotential amplifier in our body. We have to learn biopotential signals. We have to learn biopotential signals. We have to learn biopotential biopotential amplifiers. So, this biopotential signals are weak signals. We have to signals weak signals. That's why normal amplifiers are weak signals. These weak signals are processed in the ECG, EEG, EMG. So, uh, we have to process this weak signal. That is the voltage, current, power. This is the E signal. This is the amplifier. This is the amplifier. This is the biopotential signal. This is the biopotential amplifier. In the case of this amplifier, it isolates the load from source current gain only. Load in a isolated and when data number by potential amplifiers you see around. Now, what are the uh, various characteristics of biopotential amplifiers? High input impedance, these are the characteristics high input impedance, low output impedance. The biopotential amplifiers must be sensitive to important frequency components of biosignals. Uh, biopotential amplifiers have high gain of 1000 or greater most biopotential amplifiers are differential in nature high common mode rejection ratio these are the six important characteristics for a biopotential amplifier high gain venom input Im output impedance in the way in the input impedance good in output impedance core wire in the way sensitive wire in the way gain in the way in the high area in the thousand Times are going to gain. Pin a southern IT you see in the biopotential amplifiers and differential amplifiers. Then a high CMR are going common mode rejection ratio or another high area. So, commonly used biopotential amplifier is a differential amplifier. We already said that biopotential amplifiers are differential. Most of the biopotential amplifiers are differential. So commonly used biopotential amplifier is differential amplifier but it has some limitations. The amplifier has input has limited input impedance, draws some current from signal source and load them to some extent. Uh, the CMRR of amplifier may not exceed 60 dB in most of the cases which is usually inadequate to inadequate in modern bio instrument biomedical instrumentation system so these are the two limitations and again differential amplifier and the limitation and the number of common item the biomedical biopotential amplifiers and when you see another differential amplifier another but it has some uh, limitations then a course of limitations on the canon input impedance differential amplifier and the input impedance limited to some current and they have a particular extent where input impedance is limited on the input impedance high input impedance and the very young will matter high very particular extent is limited on other one to the telephone coach current in a cut of the video and lots possibility on them they will see a mara or a amplifier and a differential amplifier in the same mara than or in the other than this tdb a cable Madam, some cases it is not adequate in modern biomedical instrumentation system. Now, if the biomedical instrumentation system, then there are cases in which the CMR is not adequate. 
these limitations overcome with the availability of improved versions of differential amplifier called instrumentation amplifier namaku ingeyulla limitations ne overcome cheyan venidittu we are using an improved version of differential amplifier it is called instrumentation amplifier idine ella overcome cheyan venidittana instrumentation amplifier padichu nammal use cheyunnathu ningal differential amplifier ningal enikku thonnum kaiya semester il അനലോഗ് ഇൻ്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് സർക്യൂട്ട്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു പേപ്പർ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അതിനകത്ത് യു ഹാവ് സ്റ്റഡീഡ് ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ആംബിഫേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ആംബിഫേർ ഈ രണ്ട് കാര്യങ്ങളും നിങ്ങൾ അതിനകത്ത് പഠിച്ചിട്ടുള്ളതാണ് ഓക്കെ അന്നേരം അത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇത് പുതിയൊന്നുമല്ല അവിടെ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ആംബിഫേർ പഠിച്ച സമയത്ത് സാർ ആരാണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ അവർ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടാവും ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈഡ്ലി യൂസ്ഡ് ഫോർ ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടാവും ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ആപ്ലിഫയർ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ആപ്ലിഫയർ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ആപ്ലിഫയർ വാട്ട് ആർ ഇറ്റ്സ് അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജസ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദി അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജസ് ഓഫ് യൂസിങ് ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ആപ്ലിഫയർ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ആപ്ലിഫയറിൻ്റെ അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജസ് ഈ പറയുന്നതൊക്കെയാണ് എസ്ട്രീം ഹൈ ഇൻപുട്ട് ഇമ്പിഡൻസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇൻപുട്ട് ഇമ്പിഡൻസ് ഈസ് എസ്ട്രീംലി ഹൈ we want that for a bio potential amplifier high input impedance is the required characteristic so in the case of instrumentation amplifier uh, stream high input impedance very high cmr and low power consumption available in single ic high slew rate what is slew rate it is the rate at which uh, uh, the uh, the device can respond uh, that is called slew rate so how fast the instrumentation amplifier behaves that's depend on its slew rate so high slew rate low bias and offset current these are the advantages for an instrumentation amplifier in say in the case of an instrumentation amplifier it is extremely high input impedance very high cmr low power consumption available in single ic high slew rate and low bias and offset current okay this is the schematic diagram of an instrumentation amplifier you can see that a three op amps and seven resistors are required in for this structure uh, the two buffer amplifiers a1 and a2 a1 and a2 are buffer amplifiers these two buffer amplifiers are connected to a differential amplifier a3 so this is a differential amplifier these two are buffer amplifiers buffer amplifier is, its purpose is to uh, give the out uh, input to output uh, there is no gain for this buffer state gain is uh, gain may be unity in this a1 and a2 in and both amplifiers the gain is unity so uh, here three amplifiers a1 a2 and a3 in this case in this structure a1 and a2 are buffer amplifiers and a3 is a differential amplifier the above circuit op amp a3 with a four equal resistors are form differential amplifier with gain 1 here we are using three resistors r which gives a gain of the differential amplifier is 1 what is the equation for gain of a differential amplifier what are, what is that equation equation uh, you studied in the case of analog integrated circuit uh, the gain of a differential amplifier is minus r of by r i into v1 minus v2 v1 minus v2 so here the gain is unity since we are using uh, the r of is r and r i is r so the gain is unity so r variable here we are using a potentiometer r variable so uh, r variable is a variable or resistor used to balance out any common mode voltage it is used to balance out any common mode voltage if any noise we have to cancel it so we are using this variable resistor rg is used to set the gain using the formula uh, v out by v1 minus v2 is equal to 1 plus 2 by a 
here rg is a variable resistor you can see that here is a resistor rg this rg is used to set the gain using the formula v out by v1 minus v2 is equal to 1 plus 2 by a where a is equal to rg by r where a is equal to rg divided by r so this is the equation for gain of this instrumentation amplifier v1 is applied voltage in the positive terminal v2 is the applied voltage into the negative terminal vo is proportional to the difference between the input and output so the important characteristics of in uh, of the instrumentation amplifier are voltage gain from differential input v1 minus v2 to single ended output is set by one resistor so uh, these three are the important characteristics here the voltage gain from differential input to single ended output is set by one resistor here we are using only one resistor uh, uh, the input resistance of both inputs is very high and does not change gain change as the gain variety and the input resistance in the end input in the input resistance very high and other gain in and switch change v out does not depend on common mode voltage but only the difference a v out on the way another in the mother a dependent chain or loop the difference in the mother mind depending on only it do not depend on common mode voltage these are the important characteristics of uh, of the instrumentation are different Next is carrier amplifier. This is the diagram, block diagram of a carrier amplifier. Here, uh, the structure consists of a carrier oscillator. Carrier oscillator is used to energize the transducer with the alternating, alternating carrier voltage. Uh, here, we are using a carrier oscillator. Carrier oscillator. What is the function of carrier oscillator? Carrier oscillator is used to energize the transducer with an alternating carrier voltage. So next is strain gauge transducer. Here we are using a strain gauge transducer. This is uh, the strain gauge transducer and its function is the information signal from body electrode reaches the transducer where it's, it's it is amplitude modulated using carrier signal from carrier oscillator. The transducer changes the amplitude of carrier signal with respect to physiological variable being measured. That is the strain gauge transducer function. Strain gauge transducer function is information signal from the body electrode reaches the transducer. Our body electrodes connect to our body electrodes cell. Our information body le information on the way na the every item a signal transducer il item. Our body which that is the same thing. Amplitude modulation same thing. That is the other item is on the other. This carrier oscillator generate in the e carrier signal my item. Our body signals amplitude modulation same thing. That is the e formula will be signal generate. That is the function of uh, strain gauge transducer. So next is the amplifier. Amplifier, amplifier. Here you can see the amplifier. Amplifier is used. It uh, amplifier used is a multi-stage capacity capacitance coupled amplifier. Here we are using multi-stage capacitance coupled amplifier. The modulator signal from the transducer is given to this amplifier. Uh, the first stage produces amplification of AM signal. Second stage respond to signal frequency component of carrier signal only further amplified in the third stage. Now, we are using multi-stage capacitance coupled amplifier. Now, we are using this modulate the transducer and carrier oscillator in the carrier signal. We are modulate AM modulate the signal and amplify and vent it. We are using this multi-stage capacitance coupled amplifier. Then, the second stage is the signal frequency component. Carrier signal and the frequency component is the response. And that total amplification on a third stage. Okay. In a other thing, I can't get another rectifier. 
output from the amplifier is converted into unidirectional signal using rectifier. Rectifier is a function of that. A bidirectional signal is a unidirectional signal. Rectifier is a function. So, if the amplifier is a output signal, unidirectional signal is a process of rectifier. That is the photosensitive detector. Ah, photosensitive and phase sensitive detector. Phase sensitive detector is uh, the signal is demodulated and extract the amplified information signal. And then, chal, if phase sensitive detector learn, signal in the demodulation and extraction process of the phase sensitive detector. Learn. Last stage of the direct writing recorder is the voltage produced by the detector stage is then fed to the driver stage of the recording system. Features of carrier amplifier used to obtain zero frequency response of DC amplifier, inherent stability of capacitance coupled amplifier. This is the different blocks of a carrier amplifier. The carrier amplifier is the blocks of the carrier oscillator, a strain gauge, transducer, amplifier, rectifier, phase sensitive detector, direct writing recorder. Carrier oscillator and the generating carrier signals generating strain gauge detector uh, transducer the body in the very signals in a uh, produce em and that is what I in the end the modulation process in the other come here amplitude modulated down and that you would have a multi-stage amplifier and capacity coupled amplifier and another in the case of the then a mono stage later amplification process in the come in the da signal in a then a rectifier a unidirectional atom phase sensitive detector within a theory chip and then a number of information signals like imagine direct writing recorder and then a the voltage produced by the detector stage is then fed to the driver stage of the recording system. And that's why we are driving the driver stage of the CGL and EEG. We are not able to measure the driving stage of the driving stage of the recording system. We are driving the driving stage of the process of the direct writing report. And then this is the diagram of carrier amplifier and I hope you understand.